The lighthouse is something we are proud of here. I mean, there are only several left in the country. This is only this, Hope Town and San Salvador, we'll rent manual. And all the rest in the world that I've been able to find out about have been automated. Everybody wants to come to the lighthouse, want to see the lighthouse, which was here from 1887, especially operate the same way since 1887. Yeah, it makes it unique. Everybody would like to see the old lighthouse, the way it built and how it operates. Elbow Key Reef Lighthouse is actually a kerosene lighthouse that is hand cranked. You have to climb quite a bit of stairs in order to get up there. You have to crank it up to make sure that, uh, that we have enough kerosene oil. You have to make sure you have enough air pressure. And then you have to make sure the machine is clean. I've been in our 14 years at this station. We wake 12 hours every night, seven days a week. So every hour you'll have to crank it up every hour to keep it rotating. They wind it up and they fill it up with kerosene and they light it every night. It's very dramatic and visitors are welcome to go up and check it out. Some of them, they, they want to see how it's operated and that's what really excites me. When I light it up, wind it up, put it in gear and it starts to revolve. And that's what really, you know, excites them. And plus the view. You can look to the, the, the south and see the mountain range of Cuba. We have a lot of people coming here and going up to the top of the lighthouse and admiring it. The view is marvelous. We have a spectacular view. You see the island, the whole island, and the, and the reefs. Sometimes the, the bus driver has to tell them, hey, it's time to go. They don't want to leave, they don't want to come down. And so it's a beautiful view of the island from that lighthouse. Once you go there, you know, there's a book you signed, and say that I, I went to the lighthouse, I went to the stairs and come back down. And you will find in that book uh, names from all over the world. And it's still a navigation aid, a useful navigation aid. Each lighthouse gives you a different flash. We have five flashes, three distinct stops, and our lighting, our candy striped lighting, can be recognized by captains all over the world. So it's important that this keep going all night. You haven't really seen the Abacos until you've seen the lighthouse. Until you come and see the lighthouse, Arinagua, the beautiful lighthouse. Until you visit Dixon Hill Lighthouse. So this sort of put the Bahamas on the, you know, on the map.